We will start with poster 65, screening of high-risk groups, a key strategy in the prevention of reintroduction of malaria to Sri Lanka. The authors are Silva DPRC, Fernando ST, Munas MM, Ranavira KDNP, Gunasekara WMKT, Rajakaruna BVC, and Silva MDP. It will be presented by Silva DPRC. Good morning to you all. Uh, I would be thankful to SLMA uh, giving me this opportunity. Uh, the topic is uh, uh, about high-risk group screening, uh, which is the key strategy in the prevention of reintroduction of malaria to Sri Lanka. High-risk group screening is mainly done through parasitological surveillance, uh, through active case detection. Um, and uh, therefore, the objective of this study is to uh, describe the uh, uh, descriptives of uh, active case detection among high-risk groups. Uh, the study was carried out in the Western province among 425 individuals um, uh, selected through systematic random sampling. Um, and uh, uh, the data was collected uh, with interview administered questionnaire uh, with the uh, principal in investigator and trained PHR and PHFO. Uh, the pre-testing was done in Bandaranaik International Airport, um, and uh, 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 after in addition to the data collection with interviewer administered questionnaire, uh, the uh, parasitological surveillance uh, was done uh, to uh, detect uh, microscopy, and RDT was done uh, to uh, test for them for malaria. Um, uh, when uh, after data collection, uh, the data was analyzed through the uh, uh, SPSS and descriptives were taken, and uh, our mm, administrative requirements were taken from the Director General of Health Services and my provincial Director of Health Services and other Director Anti Malaria Campaign and other heads of the institutions. And ethical clearance was taken by the uh, University of Colombo. Um, according to the results, uh, there were, um, the study included 226 foreigners and uh, 199 Sri Lankans. According to the, uh, uh, according to the distribution uh, of the, the risk group uh, by the purpose of travel, majority contained um, the uh, majority foreigners contained migrant workers, and uh, most of the Sri Lankans contained uh, uh, displaced individuals and business uh, businessmen. And the study um, contained majority were males and uh, in the age group of more than 40 years. Uh, according to method of diagnosis, uh, only two were positive in the uh, uh, microscopy, and RDT was uh, only one were positive. Um, and about the microscopy and RDT, only one was positive. And uh, the, uh, because of uh, inclusive result, uh, we took one PCR and confirmed the uh, result. And uh, the uh, fever uh, for past two weeks, uh, only two had the fever. And uh, past history of malaria, there were eight people had past history of malaria. Uh, because of the uh, description about the positives, and uh, both were two Sri Lankans, uh, one Air Force officer uh, who diagnosed with uh, Plasmodium falciparum, um, and other were uh, Indian returnee, uh, and uh, diagnosed with Plasmodium vivax. Um, but uh, it was uh, confirmed by the PCR uh, because the uh, RDT uh, mentioned the false positive result. As a conclusion, uh, the majority of Sri Lankans traveled to Sri tra majority of Sri Lankans traveled to India, and uh, most of the foreigners ca are coming from uh, non-Indian Asian countries, uh, from malaria endemic countries. And this high-risk group screening is uh, important to uh, diagnose malaria, especially when they are asymptomatic. So not for not missing a case. Um, Thank you. The paper is now open for discussion. So, what did you think of the? the so, this what was the screening tool used? Uh, interview administered question, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, how was the, you know, sensitivity of that tool to capture the PCR, you know, positives and... Um, that uh, we uh, 
took them uh, social demographic data about the people, their uh, name, ages, and things, and travel history, past history uh, from the uh, questionnaires. Uh, and uh, the, uh, their positivity about the malaria, we took sample, blood sample, uh, by rapid diagnostic test, and also for the microscopy. Uh, and also we t take for the PCR, um, but if we want to clarify only from the PCR, we uh, check it. Otherwise, uh, from microscopy, we do confirmation. So what you did was a routine screening from them. Uh, uh, were they the symptomatic ones or the routine? Uh, no, routine screening. Routine screening. Man, that yeah. is what you recommend, that routine screening. screening. So is there uh, other than India, what was the next other important country? Uh, important reg as, re as a region, region? Africa, Madam Biosa, okay, other right than the right. India. But uh, in this study, we uh, uh, got that most of the foreigners are coming from the non-Indian Asian countries to Sri Lanka. Um, as, a as we give in chemo prophylaxis to travelers, we mainly concern because uh, on uh, uh, India and African regions, because most Sri Lankans go into those regions mainly. Thank you. Thank Please you. give a round of applause.